Okay, so I'm done with my life paint and I'm going to go ahead and duplicate this layer again. So I'm going to click on it and drag it to the new layer icon. I'm going to lock that layer and then I'm going to retitle this shadows. Okay, so these are going to be all my darker areas. I went ahead and made a little, um, I'm going to go ahead and make a little guide here, just a circle, um, color it yellow, just so you can have an idea of where my light source is coming from. Okay. So my light source is going to hit the top of his head, go down here. So he's going to have some shadows in his tails, in his tail, and across the front of his body, um, if that's an easier way for you to figure out where his shadows are. And that's also a really nice way for you to figure out where highlights are going to be. So with my black arrow, I'm going to select his tail. Okay, so everything's selected. Then I take my knife tool. And it is hidden underneath the eraser tool. There's not a shortcut. So I'll go ahead and just have this guy fly out over here. So I'm using my knife tool. And the knife tool works really great with the tablet. Okay, so I'm going to come over here and I'm going to do this whole little area. I'm going to make this whole area dark and then I'm going to bring it up here. Okay, so then black arrow. It's really important that you click on the artboard. So I clicked on the artboard to deselect. Then you're going to hover, and I'm just literally going to click the inside of this shape. I'm not clicking on the path. So I'm going to click here. And a nice way that I find to do my shadows is I tend to double click on the color that's already set there. So here's my fill color. I just double click on it. And as you move this little guy down, you're going to see you get a darker color. I don't like to have crazy huge shifts in my shadows, right? I want it to be the same color scheme. So if I cancel this, double click again, and I literally just move this little cursor right underneath where it was. And then I hit OK. And then I can see, and then you can see that's where your shadow is. So you can do the same thing um, with a highlight. You could even make a new layer if you wanted. Um, so let's just make a highlight on the top of his ear here. So I'm going to select the ear, the whole thing. I'm going to get my knife, and I'm going to say there's going to be a little highlight that runs all along the top of this ear. Okay, so black arrow again. Click out here to deselect. Then I'm going to click in that open area, and I'm going to make this lighter in color. So I'm going to move it a little bit to the left, and then hit OK. Then you have a lighter tone hard to see, but you can see it right here if I zoom in. You can see there's a slight difference in the color. So that's going to be my highlight area. So that is how you do a highlight and shadow. And I'll do it one more time along his back so you can see. So I'm going to select this little guy. I'm going to click on the path. And if I hold, if you click and drag, um, I can select it all. So then I get my knife tool come up here, cut right here. I probably wanted to go right in that crease. I could have done my cut a little better. And then slice that out, black arrow, click on the artboard, come back in, click in that shape, and then I can use my eyedropper tool and I can pick up that exact shadow right there. So your shadows are the same. 